Visualizing Negative Numbers by Professor James Tanton The positive counting numbers constitute only half of the integer world. In addition to these numbers, there are the negative numbers. Imagine the new heights we might reach by doubling the types of numbers we can consider. Negative numbers may seem tricky at first, but don't worry, you can still make sense of them. To help you do that, I'm going to tell you a totally untrue story. When James was a young child, his parents sat him in a sandbox in the backyard. Being a very tranquil child, he found it pleasing to start each session in a sandbox by leveling the sand to make it perfectly flat, horizontal surface. Then he would spend hours admiring the perfection of that level nothingness. His admiration for this levelness was so high that he decided to give this flat state a name. Zero. But then, one day, after hours of meditating on the wonders of nothingness, James had an epiphany. He realized he could reach behind him, grab a handful of sand, and make a pile. And he called the pile one. But he also realized he could make two piles, a state he called two, three piles, and four, and so on. So on this day, James discovered the positive counting numbers. And he discovered arithmetic. For example, as a young child, he could see that 2 plus 3 equals 5 through piles of sand. But then he had the most astounding epiphany of all. Instead of making piles, he realized he could make holes. He eventually decided to call a hole the opposite of a pile because he realized that a hole and a pile, when put together, annihilate each other. He decided to denote a hole as op1 for the opposite of a pile. So on this wondrous day, he discovered the equivalent of negative numbers. And he could do arithmetic with negative numbers, too. For example, he could see that three piles and two holes make one pile. Three plus op two equals one. He saw that two piles and six holes made four holes. Two plus op six equals op four, and so on. We, as a society, don't use the word opposite to denote opposite. We use a tiny dash and call it a negative sign. So negative 2 really means the opposite of 2, or the opposite of two piles, that is, two holes. And an equation like 3 plus op 2 equals 1 is now written as 3 plus negative 2 equals 1. People don't like a plus sign and a negative sign sitting next to each other. To avoid this occurrence, an operation called subtraction is introduced. The idea of taking away. Because placing two holes next to three piles has the same effect as taking away two of the piles, people often prefer to think of three plus negative two as three take away two and write three minus two. So the addition of the opposite is couched as an operation of subtraction. The idea of subtraction is introduced first in our society before the idea of negative numbers, and it is difficult to unthink subtraction. But everything is easier if we can. Just think of it like this. There is no such thing as subtraction. Subtraction is really the addition of the opposite. Knowing this can make problems that seem hard much easier. What is 3 minus negative 5? We can think of this as three piles plus the opposite of five holes. Well, the opposite of a hole is a pile. So the problem is really three piles plus five piles, which is eight piles. When working with either negative numbers or subtraction, the key is to write and think about everything in terms of opposites. To learn more about visualizing math, consider taking the class offered through the teaching company's Great Courses class the Power of Mathematical Visualization by Professor James Tanton. If you need any more help with positive and negative numbers, head over to frontporchmath.com. There you will find videos, written explanations, and review sheets.